Hello everybody, my name is Cody Owen, and today what I'm going to be showing is the What's New for SolidWorks Electrical 2023. SolidWorks Electrical 2023, they've introduced several new features to help you be more accurate with your design and with your documentation. And so we're going to be using this frozen beverage machine today for an example. We have our mixing motor, and the mixing motor in the 3D model is exactly what it needs to be, but it is not represented correctly in the schematic. So we're going to delete that from the schematic. And when you go to delete one item, well, there's probably multiple symbols representing that one component. And nowadays, when you go to delete it, it's going to report back the impact and the options to remove the components from all the drawings and those 3D associations. Okay, now that we have removed our symbols, what we want to do is we want to recreate that just using one of our macros here. And for SOLIDWORKS 2023, they've actually introduced something else with the manufacturer's parts properties specifically. And that these properties that you see here for the control, the use, the voltage, the description, all of that can be found inside of the file properties of the actual 3D component. What? That's awesome, right? <laughs> even, even the mass, you can actually set the mass inside of SOLIDWORKS Electrical and have that trickle down to your model inside of SOLIDWORKS Mechanical. New for SOLIDWORKS 2023 is the ability to add dynamic connection labels. Sometimes you just want to label for the specific component that you're looking at, and this will automatically update the columns and rows depending on the information that you have with it. Now to take a look at SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D, where you know, this is an invaluable tool for uh, finding out wire links and everything else. Well. Over here on the left hand side of your screen in the component tree, you can see that now there's a couple of quick filter buttons up here at the top. This first button allows you to expand and collapse the entire tree, where the one on the left hides the components that have already been associated to your uh, components in the graphics area. And you can see a distinct difference between the two. Uh, the one that looks like a SOLIDWORKS part has been associated to the 3D component in the graphics area with what's in electrical and the ones that are kind of grayed out still need to be associated. And speaking of association, now you can associate multiple components at one time. Less clicks, more efficient, period. So hopefully everybody will get a really good kick out of that one. All right, now that our parts are associated, we get everything routed. What we want to do is we want to take advantage of those reports inside of our 2D schematic tool. And the ability to create reports is very easy, but now you have that extra capability of copying and pasting those reports, or those tables rather, in other locations in the document. And the links that are inside the table are still intact, so you can still use those as needed. One other thing they added was the ability to use multiple types of files when inserting pictures. Before it was just bitmaps, so you'd have to convert it over. Now you've got JPEGs, PNG files, the list goes on. Now that all of our reports are finished, what we want to do is we want to create PDFs of each one of those. In the past, you only had the ability to choose portrait or landscape in SOLIDWORKS Electrical 23. You can choose the automatic orientation, which will produce those PDFs in the correct orientation. So SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2023 brings a ton of expanded capabilities with managing your electrical components, sharing data between 2D and 3D teams, as well as making it a little bit more flexible for creating that documentation. 